We're doing the 24th dynasty of the great land we call Egypt. It is also known as the third intermediate period. Our time period is also the shortest time period. It is ruled by Tignafit. Egypt is located in the northeastern part of the continent Africa. Now we will tell you more facts about the third intermediate period. Hello, I have been working on the third intermediate period. The Eye of Horus was a symbol of protection, royal power, and health. I decided to do this piece of artwork because I thought a mask would be good. I was thinking about doing pottery, but I came up with a better idea. I have been working on this project for two or three weeks. Did you know that the Eye of Horus was usually a deceit as a falcon? The Eye of Horus was torn out by set, but luckily, the eye of hor the eye was put back in place. The eye was even put on a dollar bill. The ki this kind of artwork is in the third intermediate period, and it was found in Egypt uh, in the north eastern part of Africa. Now you know why I am doing the eye of Horus in the third intermediate period. I decided to make a sculpture of the eye of Horus, which is based on a lot of time periods. My time period is the third intermediate period, which was during 1075 through 175 BC. The Eye of Horus represented the falcon-headed god, who was a very important god during this time. The Eye of Horus is made up of a human eye and cheek markings of a falcon. The eye is the sign of Egyptian sun god Ray, and it symbolizes light and vision. The left eye, lunar eye, connects with the moon. The right eye, of Ray, is associated with the sun. The story is that the Eye of Horus gives life and strength to everyone who sees it. The eye is often used for jewelry. Wow, what an interesting piece of ancient artwork. I chose to do the Eye of Horus because of its wonderful history, beautiful structure, and detail. It was an important symbol to the Egyptians. Have you ever wanted to travel to Egypt to see the pyramids or to discover the Pharaoh's curse? It all sounds amazing, so I'm going to help you learn more about the beautiful land we call Egypt. My group found many different art and time periods interesting, so we came up with the compromise. Now we are doing the third intermediate period, and my sculpture is the Pharaoh's coffin. Now I know what not everyone knows about the Pharaoh, so I'm going to tell you all about it. The pharaoh's name was Tefnakit. He was the, the Libyan descendant of the Prince of Sashe, great chief of Mushu. My sculpture is different and has much more history behind it. The pharaoh died much sooner than expected, and so did, did the intermediate period. Now the 24th dynasty is the shortest record did in history. You all know what, what they do to the pharaohs. They wrap them in materials and they lay them in a special sarcophagus that is sometimes decorated in jewels and gold. Mostly it is decorated in carvings of their gods and the ancient symbols with the beautiful bright colors. They then hide their sarcophagus in the tomb. Usually they are buried with their pets, gold, and jewels. My sculpture carvings feature Isis, mummies, jackals, and the Eye of Horus. The Eye is the symbol of protection, and Isis is their god of magic. Do you see now why I want to do this sarcophagus? Its carvings and colors are beautiful, and its history is magnificent. Now I am sure you have come to a, a, the conclusion that the third intermediate period is a very interesting time. You have learned about the Ferris sarcophagus, which was Carson's artwork, and the Eye of Horus, which was included in Brody and, Brody's and Leah's artwork. Now you know why we do, chose the third intermediate period. Interesting. <laughs>